Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 53. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so what we are going to do today is we're going to be driving the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG GT3 from 2011. That was a good year. Definitely much better than 2020. Uh, and what we are going to be doing is we're going to be going on the Super Series. We're going to be going around the Nürburgring for the 24-minute challenge. It's supposed to be 24 hours, but it's 24 minutes. And I have a feeling this day night cycle might be um like time based so after every minute like every second in the game is going to be a minute in the race so it'll be like a 24 hour race day and night um we're going against like lms gtr uh so a lot of gt3 cars this time so hopefully our blue sls is blue now so it's a little bit different uh, is going to do really well in this. 175,000 credits available. Let's go. I have a feeling we're going to have two pit stops. Um, if we are conservative with our fuel, we could do it in just one. No, I think we will need two. Definitely. Uh, we've got Vipers, we've got an R32 Touring Car, R34 Touring Car, CLK, RX7, that's a very nice. Uh, GT by Citroen Race Car, that's a good one. And this is the one I worry about, number 10 is a Ford GT LM Spec 2. That's a very uh, powerful car. Uh, one thing I will make sure is everything is on. Perfect, let's do this. Right, let's do this. It is time for... The blue Mercedes. The blue Mercedes SLS GT3. We're going to be going around the Nürburgring for 24 entire minutes. It's a long race. It's going to be a long race. See, I can do these races, but a 24-hour race um, would actually take me forever. Uh, we already have surface water. But luckily, it's already going away, so that's not too much of a problem for us. And if you look, I was right. It is going by a minute, a second. So this is going to be like a 24-hour race in 24 minutes. Awesome. I am not looking forward to this because it's still raining again. I do have wet tyres though, so... But I feel like I'm not going to use them. And onto the brakes. As long as we can survive, because I think we're only going to get uh, four laps in.
Keep it calm, keep it steady. Any car that needs to pit on the first lap is instantly uh, at the back of the pack. Like, for the rest of the race, they won't catch up. Right, we are getting more surface water, so we will have to slow it down a bit. But I feel like everyone else will be starting with racing tyres. Um, if they are starting on intermediates, then... Uh, problem. Nice. Very good through that section there. And we are slowly catching up. Again, this is going to be a long-ass race, though. Right, I had to shift down there, but I am trying to do, like, extreme fuel-saving tactics for now. Right, we are four minutes into the race. And the timer actually starts, I think, from when the cars load in. Um, which is interesting. I didn't realize that. Which is kind of annoying because, like, we don't get to drive for as long. We're not actually driving for 24 minutes. We're driving for, like, 23 and a bit. Get back on the track. Get back on the track. Perfect. And the PlayStation ooh, has just started to overheat, which is surprising because it's lasted quite a while without uh, overheating yet. Nice. Right, the first cars are coming up to the carousel now. Why are you braking so slow? It's moist, not fucking pissing it down. Okay, maybe it's not uh, moist, it's now wet. Perfect. To be fair, we may not even get four lap. Wow. We'll get four laps, but I was sort of seeing us maybe pushing five. No, hang on. No, we we won't even hit four. We might only get three in before the timer runs out. Yeah. My maths is messed up today.
I'm still going to push with the uh, hard tyres for now. Especially into the dark. Ooh, actually, yeah, into the dark. Might not be the greatest idea to go hard tyres. We'll see what the rest of the pack does, though. To be fair, we've been doing, like, extreme fuel-saving tactics. Oh my gosh. Perfect, right. This is now where we get the speed out. Ah, uh, it's just getting wetter and wetter. 62%, 63%. I didn't even buy wet tyres, I bought intermediates. I feel like we are doing alright on these hard tyres though. Like we could go quicker. Choices! We're staying out. We're staying out. Ah, uh, this is a tough choice. But it gets us to the fr front of the pack, or near the front of the pack. That was probably a bad choice, but I don't care. We're going for it. Oh, it's getting wetter and wetter. To be fair, even with wet tires, you still go slower. It just adds a little tiny bit of grip. Right, come on. It is now completely wet. So I am hoping at some point we will get a chance where it stops raining. Uh, it's getting wetter and wetter. This is very good. Obviously, wet tyres are always a better option to take. But sometimes, when you've got tyre wear and fuel wear, not fuel wear, fuel usage, fuel consumption, and you have to take pits, sometimes you have to strategize those pit stops then. That is very good through there. It's dark. It's midnight. And we're slipping and sliding all over the place. Now 
99% and 100. To be fair, the cars that did pit, that may have been pitting for tyres... It seems to be okay. It seems to be okay. I have high hopes. I have a feeling this car will be able to cope. But as well, we'll only um, we'll only probably have to refuel. Um, half a tank of fuel, I think, because we've been uh, conservative throughout this whole entire race. So it's going all right. It's going really well. I'm pretty impressed with the uh, SLS. It's done me proud. You would not be able to do this race with an automatic gearbox. I will say that now. Because your uh, fuel consumption would go through the roof. Because it would always be at high revs. And you'd probably end up spinning a lot too. Because you'd be putting all that power down in one go. Rather than slowly like I am. Obviously I am trying to concentrate as much as possible on this. I'm very surprised. I am very surprised by this. Nice. This is looking very good. This would be normally... There we go! There is still water on the circuit, but there's no new water coming down, which means it will dry up. So we still need to be a little bit cautious of that. But we managed to survive the wet weather again. And to be fair, the wet weather was most of the track. So hopefully... Yeah, it's drying up a little bit. And then we're going to go into the pits and grab ourselves uh, a new set of hard tyres. I am really surprised that I drove that well on hard tyres in the rain I think by the time we get to the pits as well uh, I have a feeling it should have dried up enough that we can then start flooring it because from the start before it was wet from the start of this race, it was wet. This is the first time it's not been raining in this race.
Depending on how much uh, fuel we can conserve as well, it depends on how much we can push on the final lap. Still slightly moist. It's not ideal and definitely not put the foot to the floor worthy yet. Until we get to the main straight. We were much slower that lap, but then again, we were in much wetter weather. Until the final section, which is now where it's drying up. And it is becoming daylight again as well, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, I still forgot it was slightly moist. Right, so we have a quarter of a tank of fuel. So I'm going to put a third in, I think. Let's put 30 litres in. On racing hards. Wait, were we on intermediate tyres from the start? Interesting. Well, we're going on hard tyres now, so... Right, tyres are done, and fuel was done. That was a quick pit stop. Very nice. Second place is quite close behind us. But we are going to... We can always push if we need to. But I'm still going to conserve as much fuel as possible. Okay, yeah, they are catching up. Uh, that might be a problem. Though we have got an, a large chunk of extra fuel, so... Right, we've got two and a half minutes left, but obviously we started the next lap, so we have to finish it. Imagine if some of the AI cars don't actually make it to the finish because they run out of fuel. That would be funny. Oh, there's loads of people in the pit stops right now. That was close. Perfect.
The cart behind me is trying to stick on to me. But I am not going to let them. Perfect. Just had to check my mic was actually on because I had a panic. Because I remember turning it off. But uh, it should be on. And if it's not on, well, you wouldn't have heard that. So it's fine. Perfect. Oh, 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 okay. There we go. Nice. That is the time over now. And that was a full day night cycle as well. Very nice. This is fun. I actually, for once, I've done a race around the Nurburgring where I, one, haven't complained. I've said it was very difficult, but I haven't complained. And two, it wasn't too difficult either. And I think that decision where I stayed um, out on the hard tyres or intermediates, I think I was actually on intermediates. Um, but staying out on those tyres really did help um, because I had got past the entire pack and just kept kept ahead of them. Very nice. Coming around the carousel for the third and final time of this race. Oh, look at that. It wants to make it difficult for the AI again. Very nice. Right, we'll just uh, be conservative with our uh, fuel usage for now then. Because I, I don't think we're going to push now. There is no way we can physically push. Because we are definitely on hard tyres now. So... Very nice. Fifteen seconds ahead of second place. I think we've done a very good job today. Nice. Oh, here we go. Mini carousel. Coming on to the main straight now, then. Awesome. Right, slow down here. Still can't believe I've been non-stop racing for 28 minutes. 
feels crazy. Right, we're just going to have to keep an eye out on the corner. Make sure we actually get around the corner. Here we go. And we're going to lift rather than break. Because that way... Okay, that didn't that didn't go to plan at all. I could actually go into the pits if I wanted to. And look, it's just starting to get wet on the track. But, we finished first. So it don't matter, because we won. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. I had to do that. And for that, we also got... Are you going to give me the reward? Come on, I just did a big race. I want my reward. Don't care about your replay cam. Here we go. 175,000 credits. Very nice. And three stars. Awesome. That is the Nürburgring 24 minute challenge done. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.